morning. Um, my name's Hugh Blamings. I'm the Executive Director of the Open Power Foundation and it's uh, my pleasure to, on behalf of the Board uh, and the membership of the organisation of the Foundation, to welcome you to our summit this morning. The uh, event, like, event of this scale uh, runs on the back of the efforts of many people and it would be uh, foolhardy to try and uh, identify everyone, but I do want to call out a, a couple of people in, in particular who have had uh, really gone above and beyond in the process of getting, getting this event uh, together. Uh, Gannison, who is our, uh, one of the co-chair of the um, academic discussion group for, for Open Power, has possibly single-handedly invited a, a measurable proportion of everyone who's uh, shown up, so we're very grateful for Gannison's efforts. Uh, Joni from ISTO, who is the secretariat organisation for, uh, for the foundation, has been the person who's been sort of doing a lot of the behind-the-scenes logistics and particularly grateful for, for her efforts. And of course, uh, the speakers who have uh, put a lot of time and effort into preparing their, uh, their sessions, the events yesterday, and uh, the ones that you'll enjoy during the course of, uh, of today. So uh, thanks to all of them, and of course to all of you for, for, uh, for, att for attending today. We had a theme for the, for the summit, and um, thinking about, as we sort of led up to this, uh, the whole concept of open the future, and where does open power, open power sit? And we think we're at an important point uh, in the evolution of the industry generally, but particularly for open power, where open power currently represents the most open, high-performance commodity computing platform out there. We literally have uh, in open power a unique system where everything from the hardware, the firmware, the, uh, the BMC, the operating systems, all the, way up to, all the way up to a very rich software ecosystem are entirely open, and that is uh, currently unique uh, in, the, in the industry in the context of systems that have to a good high performance uh, processor as, uh, as Power9 certainly, certainly is. The foundation itself, we're currently at around 350 members, uh, some 34 countries represented in that membership base. And about half of that, 17, 18 or so, are actually here in Europe, so it's particularly fitting that we are in, in Europe today for, for this event. One of the things we did in the foundation earlier in the year was ran a membership survey to um, just to solicit feedback from membership as how we could best facilitate their work and, uh, and their, their business wins. And one of the bits of feedback we particularly got from that was that uh, to ad address the geographical diversity, and we, we've very much been able to do that this year with the event in, in March in the US, uh, the event here, of course, uh, in, in Amsterdam, and then we'll be in Beijing on the 12th of December for a, for a summit in China, so we're trying to improve that geographical reach but also in broadening our focus in terms of the various work groups and uh, work products that we produce to have a, a, a greater focus on software and system integration opportunities. It's traditionally been perhaps a little bit of a hardware focus, which we will continue to maintain, and there's some exciting things coming down the track on that front, but just to make sure we broaden that base for, for software and system integrators as well. We encourage you all to consider, if you're not already joining the Foundation, we do have individual memberships as well as corporate memberships at various different levels, and we'd certainly welcome your a membership, but perhaps more importantly, consider how you might get involved uh, in the overall ecosystem if you're not already in. Uh, Jeff Scheel, who is the uh, chair of our technical steering committee that oversees our work groups, has a booth out there and he'll be happy to, to give you some swag and give you a bit of a, a rundown on the various different work groups we have and how you might get, get involved. Thank you again for coming. I'm going to keep it quite brief because there's a, a number of very capable speakers who have much more interesting things to say than I.